Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button, because what you're about to hear, is one of the strangest explosions in human history, and no one knows what really caused it. It was the morning of June 30, 1908. Deep in the frozen forests of Siberia, the world was quiet, no cars, no planes, just the wind whispering through endless trees and then, the sky cracked open, a fireball, brighter than the sun, tore across the heavens, and seconds later, the air itself exploded. A shockwave so powerful it flattened 80 million trees, and the blast could be felt hundreds of miles away. Windows shattered, animals fled, the sky glowed for days, even in Europe. But when the smoke cleared, there was no crater, no meteorite, no trace of what had happened. Just silence, this, was the Tunguska explosion. It took nearly 20 years before anyone went to see it. In 1927, a Russian scientist named Leonid Kulik led an expedition to the blast zone. What he found was haunting, trees all blown outward in a perfect circle, like ripples in a pond. At the center, trees stood upright but stripped bare, as if the explosion came from directly above. No crater, no debris, no answers. Just the ghost of a fireball that had come and gone, over a century later, we still don't know the truth. Was it a meteor that exploded mid-air, releasing a thousand times more energy than Hiroshima? Or a comet, made of ice, that vaporized before hitting Earth, leaving only light and heat behind? Some said it was a methane gas eruption from below the ground. Others whispered about black holes, antimatter, even alien ships that might have exploded above the forest but no matter the theory, none could explain everything. For weeks, the night sky glowed like dawn. Across Europe, people stared upward, not realizing they were seeing the Earth's reminder. That the universe is unpredictable. If the Tunguska blast had happened over a major city, it could have killed millions. We got lucky and luck, isn't a plan. Today, NASA watches the skies for the next Tunguska because someday, it might happen again, and next time, we might not be so lucky. So what do you think really happened that day, a meteor? a comet or something far stranger. Drop your theory in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more real mysteries from our universe.